Breaking news. Buhari will not sign electoral bill if amended for selfish interests as House legislators Nas and Malami falls apart. In fact, uh, Senators House of Rep members are saying the country is being run by Malami. You know, Malami was the person who told Buhari in the first instance not to sign, you know, the first electoral bill that insists that um, the parties must have what we call, um, uh, must have, a, a, you know, a, a sort of primary that everybody must be involved, direct primary method. Because he also have an eye, you know, to a large extent, we keep hearing of the cabal and nobody exactly know who these cabals are. Nobody exactly know who these cabals are and the cabals can just be, you know, the cabals are men and women in our society who you don't see in the organogram of leadership, yet they are the ones calling the shots. Now the, the legislators on resumption in office went ahead to say, let us pull things back and look at things and then. Um, amend it so that there will be an act and a law that will bring transparency in leadership. Malami has insisted Buhari will not sign it. Let's get all the details. The Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakr Malami, has hinted that the President, Major Muhammadu Buhari, retired, will not ascertain for the Electoral Act amended bill if it is considered to have proposals based on personal interest. According to the minister, the bill which the National Assembly transmitted to the presidency the second time on Monday last week just got on him on Monday for legal advice. Malami made this known while appearing on Channels today, a current affair program on Channels television, which, or, which our correspondent monitored on Monday. Buhari has withheld assent to the first the first version of the bill last year after consulting with Malami and the independence, the independent national electoral commission, INEC, among others on the bill. When asked if he was satisfied with the amended and the amendment made to the bill by the national assembly after Buhari sent it back to the parliament, Malami said in terms of satisfaction, honestly, it is premature for me to conclude taking into consideration that I can admit to you that the electoral bill was only received in my office this afternoon as I was preparing to come over for the engagement with Channels TV. So I have not taken steps to review the content and contest of what has been presented for consideration for the president. So it is premature and primitive for me at this moment now to arrive at any conclusion, taking into consideration that I have not gone through the document to understand what it contains and then analyze the analyze the same in accuracy with the consultations and constitution of the prevailing law. When asked if he loved democracy and wanted the advancement of the same being instigated, the minister, the minister said, I am working for the advancement of democracy and the democratic system. Responding to a question on if he'll be willing to assist Buhari to pass what the president said he wanted to leave behind as a legacy of good elect of elections of, for Nigerians. And if the bill might get passed by Buhari, the minister said, honestly, without going through or reading through, I am not in a position to ascertain whether the bill indeed has factored the national and public interest as against self-interest, among others, whereas it is a bill that can stand the test of the constituted legal authority in the land. So Malami has a big say in how Buhari, you know, Buhari, you know, Buhari reacts. Buhari has left governance to Malami, the um, uh, Femi Adesino, and the Garuba Shewo. These are the people who talks to Nigerians. These are the people who relate to Nigerians because uh, Malami does not have, I mean, Buhari cannot talk to Nigerians. Okay, Buhari cannot talk to Nigerians. So these are some of the things ongoing in the country and you'll be surprised and thoroughly shocked, you know, by some of those things happening. You'll be surprised and you'll be thoroughly shocked by some of the things ongoing. So the truth of the matter is we cannot continue, you know, to, to lie to ourselves that things are going well in the country when you and I look very clearly. 
when we are very, very clear that these things are not, you know, they are not the right things that should be done. You know, things are, are terrible. You know, all Buhari needs to do is to ensure that as a president, even if it's one thing he does right, however, these things has been neglected. He has not done anything right for the people. No, I mean, security zero, road zero, infrastructure, I said he's bringing the infrastructure has been boring upon boring. So, I mean, he has even left more debt, make things worse. Security is terrible. So, you know, so this is what is, uh, this is what is happening. This is what is going on. This is what is going on. So the matter here remains, what exactly will he be leaving behind? Of course, insecurity, you know, lives and properties, people, things being destroyed. This is what he's leaving behind. And the time for everyone to be able to speak, you know, and come out with, you know, a, a good position and let this man know. We know your, we know of what you have done. We, we are very much aware of those things you have done. You know, Malami, you may think, why do you think that with all the accusations of Malami, he has never been suspended, investigated, and nothing is coming in that light? Not a single, you know, word has come from Malami to say what exactly is happening. What about this matter? What about that? What is this? Nothing has been said. Nobody questions him. His name has been involved in almost all sorts of, you know, bribery, corruption going on. And everything is, and nobody says anything. Nobody says anything. Everybody's quiet. Why? Why? Why is that? So if we want to move forward, if we want to, you know, forge ahead, the youths have to come together and put together a political party. That political party will be able to give us, you know, a voice in the face of all that is happening. The political party will be able to help us, you know, where we have, you know, written down rules, law and order. Because the constitution we have is a fraud. It doesn't guide anybody. It's a constitution that is selfish driven. So Malami speaking is what will favor him, what will stand for him. That is what he's after and about. So Nigerians, the time to, you know, to rise up, the time to speak out is now. The time to rise up against a form of oppression and things going on right now is now. So that we can move forward. Again, look at it. Look at it again. We're seeing how things are happening. Yeah, election is around the corner. Those who are grandfathers still want to be there and there forever and ever. How would that, how would the nation move forward? Leave us a comment. God bless you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now. Bye.